Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, then hi there. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Uh, I went to an event yesterday with Pano Buggy and Soul Cosmetic Surgery and uh, I asked you guys if you guys wanted a tutorial on my Instagram and most of you guys said yes. So I'm going to do the exact makeup look that I did. Um, it was super, super hot and sweaty yesterday and my makeup held up held up um, pretty well. So I'll let you guys know some, you know, little tips and tricks to, um, I guess, summer proof makeup. Uh, I don't wear a lot of makeup, I think, nowadays than I did before and also during the summer like I don't like to wear so much makeup but when I'm going to like different events like this I do like to kind of you know wear heavier makeup and so I'll let you guys know what I do to kind of like uh, make sure that make my makeup doesn't melt or get smudged um, and that I don't look like super super gross and greasy. <laughs> Alright, so why don't we just get started? Um, so I'm going to actually prep my face a little bit. Uh, so I have my sunscreen on because I was out for a little bit, but I'm going to prep my face with the Sun and Park Beauty Water, which, you know, I always use. Um, and then I will add my primer on top to it. So I've been really liking the Laura Mercier, um, what is this, foundation primer. Uh, it's very, very light, not heavy, and it doesn't feel very, like, silicone feeling, so I quite like that. When it's too, like, silicone-y, I feel like my, uh, my pores feel a bit, like, congested and clogged, so I do like the Laura Mercier one. Yeah, so... I think this on in part BB water just kind of helps to refresh and just like re-prep my skin for makeup like in the middle of the day. So I love that. And I'm also wearing like the same like blouse that I wore yesterday. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. Just like an off-the-shoulder like white blouse. So I'm not naked, guys. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna add layer on the primer. So it has like a pretty um, thin consistency, as you guys can see. It's like a gel-like um, texture. So I quite like this. And you can use like one of those like skincare brushes or just your fingers just to um, massage it all in. And also, um, because I have dry skin, I feel like makeup for me uh, during like summertime isn't so much of a problem for or like compared to people with um, like super oily skin. Like for me, I do kind of like that dewy kind of like, you know, f like fixing spray plus sweat kind of mixed together look. Um, but you know, I know that for like oily skin people like they want to like eliminate all of the shine, um, but I don't know, for me, my personal preference is to kind of still keep it dewy, but not like, you know, sweaty, gross, like dewy. All right, so um, face is prepped, it's slightly tacky, but not too much. And then I'm gonna go straight in with my foundation. I, I use the Kate Tokyo uh, Secret Skin Maker Zero. And I'm in the shade number four. I think this is the darkest shade that you can get here in Korea, but I don't know about Japan. Uh, and then I'm gonna use my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki Max Kabuki brush. Love this brush, so good. And then I'm just gonna evenly distribute that all over my face. I think with this brush, like you can get like a really quick an easy application. I'm also a Sigma affiliate. I have like one of those like affiliate codes, but I don't really know how to set up my account, so I haven't been sharing. <laughs> but I think I should figure, try to figure it out soon. So um, if you guys want to use my code, then I will put it in the comments below. But if you don't want to, that's okay too. Or if you want to use like another person's code, that's okay too. So I get a pretty good even application. 
And when you're wearing like um, something off the shoulder, make sure you go all the way down the neck. Because you don't want to look, you know, light here, or dark here, or dark here, or light here, you know? So yesterday, um, it was like a, an event co-hosted by Seoul um, Cosmetic Surgery and Panobagi, which is a plastic surgery clinic, and they recently opened their like hair transplant treatment center right next door to their Yoksam, um, Yoksam Hospital. Um, and so uh, there was like a whole bunch of different influencers that are living in Korea, and it was just a really fun time. We got like a tour of like the whole building and um, got to like, you know, touch silicone boobies and um, stuff like that and we had like a really nice lunch uh, and it was just a lot of fun so yeah hopefully there'll be more events like that um, all right and I'm going to kind of uh, color correct my dark dark circles with the Sonam Park ultimate cover cushion stick it's kind of like a peachy shade I feel like it's not as peachy as my NARS one which is kind of unfortunate but this is what I used yesterday so I'm just gonna use it today in this video. Also, um, this stick, it comes with like a cushion at the back, but I really think that the cushion doesn't really do anything. It just kind of like absorbs a product and doesn't really do anything. It just, and so I'm just gonna go in with my my uh, makeup blender. This is a new makeup sponge brand that I recently um, was able to get introduced to. They're called H Natural and they come in this like little cute case, egg case. So yeah, it, and this is wet actually so it doesn't expand as much. So the original size is this and when you like go and wet it, it's exactly the same um, size. So. And it does have kind of like a grainy texture, so it's not as smooth as the Beauty Blender. But it does give you that kind of like stippling effect. And then I like to smooth everything out with this flat side because it's very, very smooth. So it's really smooth here. It's slightly um, textured on like the rounded edges. But again, here is really smooth. Oh, that's my color correcting there um, and then and then I just like to pop it on my little thing anyway and then I'm gonna highlight and just brighten up the eye area with the kill cover pro artist liquid concealer from Clio this is in the color linen I think it's like way too light for me but I use I like to use it for highlighting So yesterday I used like three different types of concealers. So the color correcting concealer and then this one and then I used my Fenty one. Right. And then I'm gonna go in with my third concealer which is the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. This is in the shade 280. So it matches my uh, skin shade the most. This is extra coverage. This is so bouncy. They sell these on Amazon and also at Jules.com. And they have like really cute colors, like neon yellow. Oh, I'm sorry, neon like neon colors like lime and like orange and pink. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, now I gotta like set everything because. It was, it's getting hot in Korea, like, and the thing about Korean summers is it's humid, disgustingly humid. So I'm going to use my Fenty um, Pro Filter uh, Powder. This is in the color Banana. I'm just going to use my sponge um, just to pick up some of the product here, like that. And then just going to put that all around where I put my concealer. 
So usually I don't bake, but in the summertime, like, I feel like I need to. Like, especially in, like, winter, I don't ever. Because I'm so dry. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to contour. Um, but it's okay. I will do it after. Um, Alright, and then I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Match Sticks in Truffle and just kind of outline the areas of the face where I want to contour. I feel like the shade is a little bit too dark for me, so I have to go quite light with the pressure or I feel like I end up um, like contouring looking like really weirdly contoured. Alright. And then I'm going to take my Sigma Curved Kabuki brush. This is also really good for blending. And then just blend out my contour. So yesterday, um, since it was like partnered up with the plastic surgery, um, hospital sorry I was like oh I want to get like a whole bunch of stuff done nothing like major but like I really want to get like Ulthera just to kind of make my um, chin area look a bit more like sharp because I feel like I have a very like rounded chin area so I would want to get that done um, and then I was like oh I kind of want to get my boobs done because I've, I'm a small A cup so but I don't think I ever will. My husband is like, don't get anything done, so. Which is good because I guess there are some guys that are like, oh, you should get stuff done, which is, which is bad and wrong because you should be in charge of how you wanna look. Anyway, going off topic. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I just brushed off the powder because it felt a little bit like drying a little bit, so. I'm gonna like recontour my nose with like a powder later. That's what I did yesterday. Sometimes when I film, like I forget some areas, and when I go back to edit, I'm like, oh, Sarah, like why did you forget that area? All right, I feel like I'm blended. All right, uh, and then I'm gonna go in with a powder contour a little bit. I feel like for summer, you have to, for me, like if you want like a full coverage, you want to layer like cream and then powder, cream and then powder. That's why I did foundation, concealer, cream contour, and then bake underneath the eyes and then go over that contour, that cream contour that you blended out with another like contouring powder. So I'm going to use the Chung Simmer Pro Artist, uh, sorry, just Artist Contour Palette. Um, using the brush from Sephora. This is a Sephora Professional uh, Angled Blush Brush. It looks like this. I've had it forever. Uh, and I'm going to go in with the dark shade here and then just apply that to where I applied my cream contour. And I think for like powders, like it's easier to like go into the hairline a little bit more so it looks more like natural. Then with the nose, I'm gonna go in with the lighter contour shade, which is this one, and I'm gonna use a, uh, this is the Zoeva Luxe Defined Crease Brush, and then just kind of contour my nose a little bit more. On the sides, also at the bottom. I like to make this like little point a little bit pointy. I like to go up into the brow area because it makes it a little bit more like tall looking. I, yesterday I used the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Uh, super fast, super easy because I was running late. So I'm going to go in with Tempera, which is that first shade here. And I think my, my uh, lids are still a little bit tacky, but uh, if you want, you can go ahead and use like like an eyeshadow primer. This is from Urban Decay. Maybe I'll lay that on a little bit. Like for me, because I have like pretty like small lids, I don't need that much. 
And then, like I said, going with the first face shade, Tempera. And this is the Smashbox number 10 brush. It's like a nice, big, fluffy brush. Just apply that all over the lid. Also, yesterday I kept like dipping into the wrong color, so it made me so mad. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with uh, Glistening. And then with the same brush, and I'm going to put that into my inner corner. This is not how I usually do it. Like, I'll do my inner corner later, or like almost like the last step, but this is how I did it yesterday, and it turned out pretty well. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Zoeva 227 Lux, sorry, what is it? Lux Soft Definer brush, and then dip into, uh, which color do I Rustic, which is this color here, and then just kind of define my whole eye area. Also, if you pick up too much, you can just get like a, like a tissue and then just kind of tap it on there and then use like the remainder so you're not wasting a lot of product. I'm trying to go as fast as I can because my battery is at 38%. So just blend that in with that uh, inner corner color because then you'll get like a super nice gradient. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Lux Soft Crease Brush and then I'm gonna go dip into Cypress Umber, which is the next darkest shade next to the black one. And then I'm going to define the outer crease. Super easy, like if you are running late to an event and you just want to do like some kind of like light smoky eye, this is like this palette will just guide you through it. It's so easy to color match. And they blend so nicely. I think that the tip I would give to people though is try not to pick so much pigment up because then it just starts to look super muddy. So like I said, use that tissue method or like um, tap it off. All right, and then the almost the last part is I'm just gonna use my Lux Smoky Shader Brush from Zoeva, it's like a, like a flat one. And I'm gonna go into bronze, which is like this beautiful like gold glittery shade and then apply that onto my lids. go into the inner corner and then just kind of stop like before you uh, reach like the very edge of the outer corner because you're going to go back with that deeper shade and just kind of blend everything in. Okay and then go back with that uh, what is this the Lux Soft Crease Brush and go into Cypress Umber And you're just gonna fix up that outer corner to find a little bit more so that the gold isn't just kind of, you know, hanging out there by itself. All right, and now I don't want my eyes to look a little bit like too unbalanced. So uh, I'm gonna take my so Lux Softest Definer, sorry, and then I'm gonna go in with Rustic. Just like a teeny tiny bit of rustic and then just kind of define the under under eye and you can just kind of pinch it a little bit I don't know where my camera cut off but I, would, I just did my liner <laughs> all right so my eyeliner is done yesterday I added some lashes they're not very dramatic and I don't really know where I got them but I think maybe Olive Young, but they're just like really generic crisscrossy like ones. And they don't really have that much of a curl, it's pretty flat. But they worked pretty well for me yesterday. And they didn't feel like super uncomfortable, so I'm just going to quickly apply those. Alright, so... I'm 
using the Maybelline Magnum Big Shot Mascara. And then just crimp your natural lashes with the falsies. You don't really have to like press so hard that you're bending them, just enough to press them together. Okay, and then let me just do my lips. I kind of want to do my lips right now. So I'm using the MAC Show, no, no Strip Down Lip Liner. Yesterday I was wearing like a super green, emerald green uh, pleated skirt. So I didn't want to look super crazy with my lips. So I went with like a nice neutral brown. And I'm gonna go over with the I Love Sarai uh, ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Sueño de Coco. So for blush, I'm going to use my Sigma uh, Core de Rosa Aura Powder. It's like a nice, pretty, like, rosy, corally shade. It's very pretty. And then, let me just do my brows real quick. Uh, I yesterday I used this, the Browsings from Benefit in color number 3. And just to do a quicker application, I used my Zoeva Brow Line. I like to line the top of my brows first, just to guide me. Some people do like to do like the bottom, and I do that too sometimes. But I feel like for me, because my tops are uneven, I do the top of my eyebrows first, so I get you know the same kind of look. Okay. Now, yesterday I added so much highlight. I used the Dose of Colors uh, Katie, Desi and Katie collab uh, highlighter in Fuego. It's so pretty. It's like a nice golden um, highlighter. I'm going to use my Zoeva Luxe Highlight Brush. And then just put that all over. And you know that brush that I use for my contour, for my nose? I'm going to just redefine that nose contour. Alright. And then, the final, final, final step is a uh, setting spray. So yesterday I like doused myself in MAC Prep and Prime. Love this. I think even in the summer, like, I really like it. Uh, you know, for those of you who have oily skin, I would probably prefer, recommend that you use, like, the Urban Decay, um, you know, the setting, setting spray that they have. I feel like it's a bit more matte. Then this one, this one has more of like a dewy glow, which I really love. So, also shout out to Mayo. They're like really, they have like really delicious yogurt drinks and ice cream too. They're in um, Aquajam. Delicious. Anyway, I look really cute. I really like this makeup. Um, definitely, I am digging it. Like that highlight is popping. Yeah, I love this kind of like bronzy, gold, smoky look with like, you know, neutral lips. Definitely. I'm kind of my own personal like fan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So this look is finished. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Um, I try to do it as fast as possible, and definitely, I really think that it's a very doable look. And you look pretty glam too. So you know, thanks to this palette, uh, I only use what, one, two, three, four, five, five shades. 
five shades and one of them was just like a regular base color which is tempera here so um really like this look i think i quite like these like lashes they kind of stick straight out i don't know if you can see but they look quite nice in person and i feel like the lip kind of just brings it all together also this blush this blush is so nice i love this one so, ooh, oh no chipped it. It's okay. It's okay. It's just makeup. It's just makeup. Alright. But anyways, um, thank you guys for watching my tutorial and if this is, if you haven't subscribed then please do. Um, you know, this isn't like a job for me. Like this is just for fun and um, I feel like uh, the more I do it, the more I'm enjoying it and um, because like the weather's getting nicer, hopefully I can do a bit more fun makeup looks. Or uh, if you want to learn more about you know the skincare that I have, then you know let me know in the comments. Or you know just let me know like DM me in my uh, on my Instagram account. Like I'm always open and free to talk and chat with you guys. Uh, so yeah. So again, um, please like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Uh, subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my other social media for updates or just kind of have me there in your feed. Maybe. I don't know. The algorithm is crazy. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!